Are you a shop cat now? discovers that there's a basically an old television signal emanating from the hex from the anomaly and she goes and she grabs an old tv with a piece of rabbit ears on it and she picks up the tv show inside the case i have six high speed computer fans wired together to this speed controller in the corner powered by the 60 watt power adapter down below Operating at 41 decibels on max the fans are capable of 950 cfm airflow whether they achieve that or not, in the real world, I'm not sure. At the heart of the enclosure is the 16 inch by 25 inch MERV15 filter. It slides in from the front. This filter is capable of removing 0.3 to 1 micron material at 94% efficiency. In front of it then goes this 1 inch thick polyester pre-filter, which is MERV6 rated. It is held in with two magnetic strips. They simply snap in on the top and the bottom and retain the filter. They're easy to remove and stay in securely. To demonstrate how long fine dust particles linger in the air, I'm running a table saw without any dust collection while cutting a piece of OSB. Yep, still hanging in the air. Now let's try again with the dust collection on. Uh, much better. The fine particles are trapped in the box. The larger ones fly off. And here's another test with a die grinder. Power carving is going to be much more enjoyable now. So there you have it. A benchtop dust collector with a solid ash enclosure made from off-the-shelf parts. Looking at it, I'm probably going to add some handles for it. It's not too heavy, but it would make moving it around much easier. I may also add a dedicated on-off switch in the future. Thanks for checking out the video. Take care, guys.